Who's your favourite player, Anderson? Gennacho. <laughs> yeah. He's right here. Anderson had been a little bit ill before his seventh birthday, which is 2nd of May. Just being sick and being a little bit lethargic, just not, just not being himself. At that point, they thought it was a constipation. A consultant came out, checked him, and uh, they did some blood tests on him. Um, and they thought he was, he was doing okay for a while as well. And um, with that, and he was close to being um, let home. Um, but the blood test came back um, with some infection markers. He kept on getting worse, so they did an MRI. And it's the typical scene that you kind of seen in a movie where you, you hear a, a mum kind of wailing. And I went into the room um, just afterwards. And um, we were told he had cancer. He's diagnosed with a, a blood cancer called Burkitt's lymphoma. Um, and that cancer grows every 25 hours. Um, so it doubles every 25 hours. So it starts very, very small and gets very, very big. So by the time that they intervened with surgery, he didn't have a belly button anymore. It was so enlarged, it was so stretched out. It's cancer, what does that mean? Is this something that can be treatable, is it not? Is it palliative care straight away? Is it something that you know, is, is treatable? And thankfully, Anson had a type that was um, curable. Kids are really, really resilient. He had the lines in both lungs. He had a Hickman line in, so that's when you have intravenous medication going, or chemotherapy going through and straight into your bloodstream. And he also had a catheter, which he woke up with on the Tuesday. By the Friday, he got out of bed and he was walking. I certainly wouldn't have been able to do that. And uh, yeah, he's a, he's a hero to us. After a gruelling four months of treatment, seven-year-old Anderson was finally given the fantastic news that he had beaten cancer. To get this just incredible news that you're you're just so grateful to get and know how privileged you are that you're you're able to do that with your child it's just yeah just incredible i can't put it into words really i don't think there's a word for it when he was really really poorly and the course of chemotherapy he had was um highly aggressive chemotherapy to treat the highly aggressive growing cancer it was kind of when his eyes kind of moving you get him to kind of respond one thing that didn't make him respond was uh a, asking the consultant to come in, who's his favourite player? Now, he wouldn't ask, he'd look at me to ask, so know it's the question he wanted. And his trivia question was, you know, my favourite player has played with both Ronaldo and Messi and see whether they could work it out. When he was in hospital at the worst times, not only was there the question about you know, who was his favourite player, but he also asked numerous times, uh, do Man United know who I am? And today, something that's just incredible. Do you remember when he stayed in hospital? that did Man United know who you are? Yeah. Well, Man United have been in touch. Yep. And they would like to interview you tomorrow at Carrington Training Ground. Yep. Would you like to go? Yeah. Today, Anderson is on his way to Carrington for what he thinks is a tour of the training complex. Yeah. He's had one scale of life which you wouldn't want your, your children to have to ever experience and now he's just experiencing something which is, you know, you just dream that you could you could provide that for your child and he's just going to be, yeah, just so happy. This room's all for you today, Anderson. Oh, oh yeah, I thought I'd say... Going into the box, him scores. Did the Birthman just United play? Uh, I think Garnacha. Correct. Yes. Little does he know that waiting in the wings is none other than his idol, Alejandro Garnacha. Can you give me a shot? I'm going to count down. So three, two, one. Open your eyes. Garnacha. Hello. How are you? Good. All good? What's your name? Anderson. Anderson. Do you know me, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> I have one thing for you, yeah? yeah. You are so brave. You are a warrior. <laughs> Who's your favourite player, Anderson? Get that <laughs> <laughs> Yeah? Is there anything you wanted to ask him? Got any questions? What's your favourite goal you've ever scored? 
Oh, against Everton. Of course. The bicycle kick. You like this one, eh? <laughs> Was it better in Manchester or Spain? Hmm. I like both, but here maybe the weather is a little bit cold, um, but I'm, I'm good here. I like here. <laughs> you like this weather? Yeah? Yeah, I live miles away from here. Ah. <laughs> Welcome. Bye. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Take care. Is that amazing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we seem by your face, understand? Oh. Well, you this ain't gonna help you. I know how special is that. And oh. I got a trophy. I know. Happy. Oh. Is it glass? Oh, it is. That's so special. It's just, just a, a wonderful thing for him. <laughs>